Today we have brought you a bunch of updates. Tesla delivers record 241,300 cars in Q3, handily beating consensus estimates. Tesla Model X refresh spotted a new in Fremont factory. Tesla Giga Berlin to get final approval in November. And, Elon Musk confirms, public full self-driving beta release, for safe drivers, on October 8, 2021. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has announced its production and delivery figures for the third quarter of 2021, confirming that it handily beat Wall Street consensus estimates, which came in at 222,700 deliveries. Tesla delivered a record 241,300 cars in Q3 2021, producing 237,823 vehicles, another record for the automaker. In the third quarter, we produced approximately 238,000 vehicles and delivered over 240,000 vehicles. We would like to thank our customers for their patience as we work through global supply chain and logistics challenges Tesla wrote in its press release, reporting the figures. Wall Street predicted that Q3 2021 would be Tesla's strongest ever three-month performance, and there is no doubt that it is true. Tesla managed to continue its monumental streak of growth for deliveries and production, not seeing a decrease in quarter-over-quarter -quarter figures since Q4 2019 to Q1 2020. Consensus estimates slotted Tesla to deliver 222,700 vehicles in the quarter, although some analysts were convinced the automaker would manage to break into the low and mid-230,000 range. Of the 241,300 vehicles delivered, 9,275 were Model S and Model X vehicles. The Model S Plaid is beginning to see more regular deliveries, although Tesla is still handling some bottlenecks with the vehicle. The Model X, which was refreshed along with the Model S late last year, has not yet started deliveries. These are expected to begin sometime in early 2022 with current estimates slotted for January or February. The remaining 232,025 vehicles were Model 3 and Model Ys. These are Tesla's mass-market cars and make up a significant portion of deliveries every quarter. The Model 3 and Model Y are produced at Tesla's Fremont factory and Giga Shanghai plant in China. However, the vehicles will soon be manufactured at the company's soon-to-be-completed Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin production lines. The Model Y will be produced primarily at both of these facilities, as it has quickly become Tesla's most popular vehicle. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model X Refresh spotted a new in Fremont factory. Tesla Model X refresh units were recently spotted in the Fremont factory's delivery yard on Wednesday, September 29. The sighting hints that full-scale Model X plat and long-range production may start this quarter. The destination of the Model X plat vehicles spotted in Tesla Fremont's delivery yard is unclear, but it shows some progress. The vehicles do not seem to be release candidates, as they are fitted with protective wraps. Tesla aims to start Model X Plaid deliveries by January to February next year, kicking off 2022 with a bang. An increasing amount of Tesla Model X Plaid vehicles have been sighted across the United States over the past few weeks or months. In July, a Model X refresh was spotted driving near Sunnyvale, California. Electric Vehicle Group the Kilowatts saw a production-ready Model X Plaid at the San Francisco International Airport. The Model X in San Francisco featured the Plaid badge, first seen during the Model S delivery event, and Tesla's new 22-inch turbine wheels. The Model X Plaid may face the same criticisms as the Model S Plaid. In fact, just recently, Edmunds pitted the BMW iX against the Tesla Model X. It noted that the BMW iX handled better, was more refined, and was more comfortable than the Model X, claiming the SUV would be one of the best SUVs available in 2022. Although, Edmunds does acknowledge that Tesla models are faster than BMW. Based on Edmunds' BMW iX review, 
there is already strong interest in how the Model X Plaid will perform in the market compared to other full-sized SUVs. When the Tesla Model X was first introduced into the market, it was quite popular. And the Model X Plaid should likely follow in its predecessor's footsteps. Moving to the next update, Tesla Giga Berlin to get final approval in November. According to the latest reports from Germany, Tesla is expected to receive final approval for Giga Berlin in November. Tesla's most important investment started in early 2020. The plant has been under construction since late May 2020, but the manufacturer had only early approvals, which means that it could proceed at its own risk without the guarantee of the final approval. A high number of objectives, including environmental ones, significantly slowed down the bureaucratic analysis of the investment. In August, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk said that electric car production hopefully will start in October or soon afterwards, if we are fortunate. Business Insider reports that several sources from government circles indicate that the long-awaited final overall approval will be granted in November. However, there will be some strict water usage conditions applied, as well as actions to prepare for possible toxic pollutant accidents. In other words, there is a big chance that Tesla will be able to start the production of the Model Y in Germany in November or December. Currently, the Model Y sold in Europe comes from China. At this point, it's not yet clear whether Tesla will initially stick with the 2170 type cylindrical cells for a while or will try to start with the new 4680-type cylindrical cells and structural battery packs. Moving to the last update, Elon Musk confirms public full self-driving beta release for safe drivers on October 8, 2021. Tesla owners in the United States who have pushed the request full self-driving beta button will have one extra week to improve the safety scores. Elon Musk has confirmed the expansion of the testing program that will take place on October 8, 2021. Musk had originally said owners would be able to download the software seven days after pressing the button, meaning the first who pushed it and have a perfect safety score would receive the software on Friday, October 1. This has now been pushed back one week to align with the release of version 10.2, Musk tweeted recently. Musk had already alluded to this date when he clarified on Monday that version 10.2 would be released on October 8. But it was not clear at the time if those who had pushed the button would receive the current version instead or have to wait an extra week. The delay could be a good thing for those who have had trouble achieving a perfect 100 safety score. Earlier this week, Musk said a perfect score would be required to gain access into the testing program before dropping the threshold and adding 1,000 more per day, prioritized by their score. Those owners who have already achieved a perfect safety score may be parking their cars for the next week. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.